Anyway, you are kind of exciting me here. Do you want to do something yeah. here simply? I'll, I'll show you something that I loved because yeah. I've been... Um, uh, one of the things that what happens to magicians as they develop is, is, or what ought to happen, is they stop buying loads of effects and start using what they've got and interpreting their effects in their own way and, and to, to suit their own character. Now, I love psychology. I am still a priest. I love spiritual things. So my magic comes across in that kind of way. And um, I love the idea of synchronicity. Now, this is an effect that may or may not work. So, you know, and we're filming, but if it doesn't work, so what? Um, but I, usually it does. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shuffle the cards um, two different ways. That's the Western way of shuffling. And then there's also an, an Eastern way, which I'll, I'll show you now. But if you stop me both times, just, oops, forget that. Just say stop. Stop. Okay, and then if you stop me this time as well. Stop. I'm going to turn my head totally away. Can you look at the card there? Yep. Keep that in your mind. Yeah. And now, could you, Ian, take the cards yourself? I don't yeah. want to touch them from this point. You've got a card now in your mind. I want to see if synchronicity will help me locate your card. Okay. So if, you, if you shuffle them up yourself. Okay. Keep thinking of your card. And when you feel ready, just cut off any amount and place them face up about there on the table. Just about here. So I put them all face yeah. up, yeah? yeah? Face up, that's it. That's fine, that's okay. fine. Okay, yeah. okay, now what I can see centrally, you've got three black cards together, all right? Now, I didn't determine that that would happen, but you've got three definitely right in the okay. centre. Yeah. This tells me your card is probably either, yeah, it's, probably, it's definitely a black card, and the fact that these are all spades, three spades there, probably means that yours is a club. And in actual fact, because there are three spades together, Probably the th three of clubs. Very good. Is that right? I'm impressed. Now, now yeah. the weird thing is, well, that's <laughs> synchronicity. There's also a thing called prediction. And before we did any of that, I put a little prediction here, and it says the uh, three of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's great fun. Wow. It's good fun. It's kind yeah. of mysterious. It's psychological, and it's uh, a great opener to um, all sorts of discussions. Yeah. Um, you can see why I, I used to kind of. Um, as a priest, used to go around pubs, not to evangelize, but to, uh, in my community, just to sit with people, do some effects and see what happens, see where the conversations lead. And they can lead to any avenue. Um, uh, it's because immediately now people are in that kind of slightly They're enchanted. In, they must be intrigued apart from anybody else, anything yeah, else, I yeah. would think. Yeah. And that is genuinely an effect. That, um, that I don't know how it's going to turn out until the end. Obviously, I, I, I know that I've got the prediction there, but I don't know how I'm going to interpret the cards either. So I'm very interested about this type of magic, which is kind of, in a way, halfway between sleight of hand magic and other kinds of magic that you see maybe in a psychic fair, you know. So it's, yeah. Mm. So when you say you went into pubs, you just went into pubs as a priest, just to talk to people? Yeah, well, again, not really with an ulterior motive. I mean, I, I love people. Um, I am shy, I'm intensely shy. Um, and therefore, it was a great way just to get to know the community, to, to come buy a pint and um, gradually get known as someone who's a friend to the community, someone who's usually got a pack of cards on him or and can, can do things that will um, enchant and excite people, um, but honestly, without an ulterior motive, I mean, I, the, the, again, there are people who say, oh, Mark was an evangelist. Well, actually, an evangelist, the, the kind of, the motive for doing the effect is in the end, and now I want to talk to you about God or something, and I, I don't think you need that, you know, I just wanted to be there as a, as a friend to the community, to know, to let people know I was available. Um, the privilege of being a priest in this community is that people will come to you for baptisms, weddings, funerals, all sorts of things. Um, and it's, it is just the most joyful thing to be able to take people through those stages of life. Again, without that kind of heaviness that you sometimes get. And, and will you come to church next Sunday then? You know, I, I don't really think that's... It's certainly not my style. It's like a support for people if they want I to be supported, so. yeah. yeah. And a guide if they want to have that. Certainly, yeah. 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 And also we, the, the, um, I'm saying we, the clergy, I don't act actually as a 
clergymen anymore. But you know, the, the clergy, we need to be, if anything, open to what we can learn from the encounters we have. Um, you know, we haven't got all the answers. Yeah. Theological college doesn't give you God on a plate or God in a book. We go out and we find God or the gods or the spirit or whatever in the people that we encounter. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you, you're, you've written three books so far. The first yeah. book here, which is the Gospel of Falling Down, yeah. which is an intriguing title. Do you want to talk us through that briefly? Yeah. What's it's, in it's, there? That's my baby, I think, because that is my... My gospel. Um, when I was at theological college, I made the mistake once of saying, we, we preach who we are. And the principal said, no, we don't. We preach Christ crucified. And I said, yeah, but we, okay, but we can only preach that as Mark Townsend and my experience of that and in, in, interpreting that truth to my life. And following on from that, a lot of people say, all preachers have one gospel. They, they just come at it from a million different ways. And my gospel is that it's, it's about grace and forgiveness, as in being, learning to be forgiving of ourselves. Now, the, the title, The Gospel of Falling Down, and then the subtitle, The Beauty of Failure in an Age of Success, is a message for today's church and today's world. Because I think we live in a um, frighteningly success-orientated world a perfectionistic world, a world that teaches children from the age of three that if they don't achieve, that there's something wrong with them. Um, I'm not just saying this because I kind of grew up that way myself, and it's not to do with my upbringing. I think it's just it's society, and it's schooling, and it's church, and it's everything else. We pick up these messages that you, sir, you, madam, are not good enough as you are. You need to strive and change and blah, blah, blah. And then religion comes in and seems to say there's like almost a ladder that we need to climb up to this God who lives up there on a cloud. I know I'm grossly caricaturing it now, but that's how it can feel. I don't think you climb up a ladder to God. I don't think that's what Christianity is about, and I don't think it's what faith is about. In my experience, when you climb that ladder to God, you are ironically climbing away from God. And I think when you fall off the ladder and you fall to the bottom and, and sometimes, though I, I don't want this to be true, but sometimes we do, we break open, we get hurt, we get knocked about. That's the place where you meet God because that's the place where you meet your true self. And I think that's what Eastern spirituality teaches us, um, that when you meet your true self, now they come to it obviously through, through meditation and what have you, um, and various other disciplines, I think we can come to it through being broken. Um, when you meet your true self, I think then you meet the, the divine me or the, the God within or the, um, the Buddha nature or the Christ energy or whatever you want to call it. 